All right, so we're going to start today with um, we're going to be doing the if else loops. And so we're going to go and we're going to open up our Vex robot C here. We're going to go, and once this little thing goes down, we're going to go File, New. And we're going to Motor Sensor Setup. And we're going to start with the motors here. And instead of doing a motor, we're going to do an LED. So we're going to have a touch sensor, an LED, an LED. So we're going to say limit switch. And then we're going to have a red light and green light. Okay, we'll push apply. <clears throat> That's all we're going to need for today. And like we said earlier, to keep the if-else loop going continuously without stopping, we're going to need to put it inside a while loop where the condition is always true. Now, many of you will notice that your natural language is not selected. Please make sure that the natural language just has a check mark there. And the VEX 2.0 cortex is also selected. Otherwise, you're not going to find it very easy to do this. So, I usually type in the while statement and it's while. And then you, inside these parentheses here, you're going to put one. And then equals equals is a VEX cortex language. While one equals one, and then we always put the curly brackets, so we'll put one at the end here. And that just makes sure that it's going to be equal and it's always going to run. That's the body of our while statement. Now, this while statement has a while one equals one. You just set this up so that this condition is always true. So it'll run continuously. All right. Next, we're going to put in here, we're going to put an if statement. So I like to tab over just so I know that I'm in this statement here. And we're going to say if, and we will go to until, or actually we're going to delete that. We're going to if sensor value. And we should be able to find that actually here. Uh, sensor value and we're gonna say limit switch and what do we know about the limits where the oops, you don't want to do that you want to type it so we're gonna sensor value limit switch and we're gonna say equals equals and because it's a digital switch, it's either going to be to one of two variables. It's either going to be a one or a zero. We're going to say one. So that means if the limit switch is pressed, we are going to now say a special, and that's going to be turn on and we will have, we'll call it green green light and we will have to have it wait and the reason you're going to wait is so that we can actually notice it otherwise it will be instantaneous you won't be able to notice it we'll have it wait a second all right and then that will happen else so if that's not happening that's the else portion of it else and against again we're going to put a, uh, a curly bracket I did forget to do this so this is a good lesson you come up here you push the enter key and you can put your curly bracket in there 
and you're going to want to close it with another curly bracket. Else, we're going to turn off LED, and we're going to call that the green light. And we're going to also turn LED on. Notice I typed it in and then selected it. And then we can call that the red light. Light. Okay, now I just typed this up quick here and I'm not 100% sure that I'm right. So I'm going to go compile program and I'll save it as something I'll never forget. Source file 2 sounds like a good one. Save it to my Z drive so I don't lose it also. And you wait. Okay, so it looks like the computer actually, even though we dragged it over, wants it to say sensor value like that. So that's a little bit of flaw within the program here. Again, it's running extra slow because I got the screen. So there we go. It's all set. It works. It's going to work right. I'm going to go here to download a robot. And because I don't have it set up, you're not going to be able to see that happen. but just to remind you what to do, you're going to go to download firmware, automatically update Corefx Cortex, click OK, let it run through. It should not come up with that. If it does, do it again. Then you're going to go download a robot. It's not going to work for me because I'm not connected to a robot right now. And play it. Now once you get that situated and it's all working correctly, go on and see if you can on your own have it so when you hit the limit switch it goes yellow green and then when it's off it goes yellow red so like a stoplight would work so you're gonna have to add a new digital sensor in there you're going to have to mess with the wait times a little bit and then see if you can take this the next step but right now you've completed the main task of the lab here okay